Welcome to my channel and this is not a tutorial video. In this video, I'm comparing the performance amount um, Super 64 Pro, Moodpen 64 Plus FZ and N64 OID. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but Super 64 Pro has the best graphic performance amongst them. The performance is very smooth and you don't have any sound glitches. The color contrast is beautiful. Moving on to Mupen 64 Plus FZ, the control is fine, um, there are some kind of sound glitches sometimes, but the graphic performance is not as good as Super 64 Pro. Look at the flower, it's not as clear as Super 64 Pro. And you can tell from Link's hair as well. And then let's move on to N64 OID. I hope I pronounce it right. In here, the graphic is obviously clear, but there are obviously some kind of graphic errors that makes the lights turn on and off. And I don't know if you can tell, but the sound glitches are quite obvious here. But still, if it is rendered correctly, the graphics here are very good. One thing I want to mention is that I couldn't get Paper Mario work on 64OID. There are too many glitches on screen. I just can't stand it I, and I think it is really not playable on N64OID. In my opinion, if you don't want to pay, then I think Mupen 64 Plus FZ that is pre-installed would be your best emulator for N64. Remember you will have a stable kind of control and stable graphic, but the resolution is a bit lower. If you are willing to pay, Super 64 Pro is definitely your best choice. You have the best performance, best graphic, best sound, and you will be able to run it at full speed. Super 64 Pro is normally about $3, but now it's on sale, um, so it is 50% off, and then I actually got it at um, $1.5. In conclusion, personally, I think Super 64 Pro is the best emulator for N64. If you don't want to pay, there is a free version of this called Super 64 Plus. You have to deal with the commercials, but it is free.